forgiveness lay open on the pulpit. The small whitewashed church was hot that night. It seemed Texas was always hot, always hot in August. A few in the congregation slowly fanned their red and sweaty faces. On the second row, a little to the left, a young mother sat with her daughter. The mother hoped that her daughter would listen to what the preacher would say. To the right, about six rows back, sat a man and wife. For three years she had worn his ring and his wrath. The bruises had all but disappeared, but the fear would never go away. On the back pew, the 17-year-old fidgeted as he daydreamed out the darkened window about how his future would play. And in the distance, the preacher and Jonah. Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness has come up before me. But Jonah rose up to flee from the presence of the Lord. The seatbelt sign flashed on. The weary traveler peered out the window at the rapidly approaching ground. His thoughts were on that night. Funny how insecurity robs both today and tomorrow of what God meant them to be. You know, in one way, every concert I give is the same. Every time I walk on stage, I know that God is watching. The house lights dim, the crowd applauds. My band begins to play. I look around, find a hand, close my eyes and pray. Jesus, forgive me. Use me. Help me to touch someone's life tonight. Hardly speak, my lungs won't move the air. The words get stuck in my throat when I lay my soul bare. In this daily life I live, I've fallen like a fool. I've broken God's trust, that's when I fall on my knees and I pray, Jesus. Forgive. This is me, this is me. Yeah, the part of me I'm so afraid, I'm so afraid for you to know, for you to know. This is me, this is me. There's some things we both have gone through. See, I'm not so. From you, from inside the fish, where he'd been, he wasn't sure, but he was here now. Jonah prayed. In my distress, I called to the Lord, and He answered me. The fidget was gone. The boy listened on to the gray-haired preacher. Strange how it seems life plays out before its script is even written. The traveler closed his eyes as the plane touched down, and he wondered, how can God use a man who turned his back on God so many times? wiped his sweaty face and read, Those who cling to worthless idols forfeit the grace that could be theirs. Salvation comes from the Lord. Oh, Lord, I know it does, I know it does. The young couple got up and left in a fight. The little girl's mind never left Sesame Street. The prayers, the hymns, the sermon, all had been for the back pew that night. Through the 
through the words of the traveling preacher, the boy heard the call of God. Take me, mold me, shape me. Oh Lord, please, help me be the person you want me to be. The word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time. Go to the great city of Nineveh and proclaim to it the message I give you. This time, Jonah obeyed the Lord. As the plane slowly began to empty, the weary passenger sat still, eyes shut tight. For years and years, his prayer had been the same. Jesus, forgive me, use me, help me to touch someone's life tonight. Adjusting his spectacles and his sight, the traveler took one final look at his tattered Bible and the text for his sermon that night. The Old Testament story of Jonah. This is me, this is me, yeah, the part of me, I'm so afraid, I'm so afraid for you to know, for you to know, this is me, this is me, there's some things we both have gone through, see I'm not much different from Touch with the mind of God. 